What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about those PlayStation Spartacus plans and talk about if they would work, if they would make Sony kind of stand out against uh, Xbox Game Pass, just kind of go over my impressions. Now, I was debating whether or not to do this, and it's been a little while since uh, the info had dropped. Remember, right now these are just rumors, I mean Jeff Grubb is very, very confident that this is right. It may be the name changes, right, in terms of essential extra and premium maybe those change over time but he feels pretty good with price and he feels pretty good with what you're going to get for it he talks about how it's already in testing or it's gonna go into testing very very soon and realistically it's probably gonna launch i would i would honestly argue maybe april or may we'll probably see it for sure at the uh, playstation showcase this month whenever they announce it uh, i'm recording this video by the way when they haven't announced it but this is again these are just rumors we can definitely talk about this when and it uh, you know launches and we can try it out and, and see what it's like when we all get our hands on it but for now you know I don't mind it I don't think it's like and, and man maybe this is gonna be pretty controversial I don't think it's like the greatest thing of all time now you could argue you know was anybody expecting it to be the greatest thing of all, of all time probably not it really I think it kind of does everything you would hope that it does that Sony would feel comfortable with and what I basically mean by that is it pretty much does everything that we can already get now plus more, but not going so far as to go full on Xbox Game Pass with like giving us uh, The Last of Us Part 3 day one or Forspoken, you know, in, in May day one. And look, if that's what you wanted, I mean, look, I, I ultimately I don't really blame you, right? I, I like free stuff. I like saving money as much as the next. Maybe I like money a little bit more than the next guy. But, you know, I, I want to save money. and I like Game Pass, Do you know, paying however much, 12, 15 bucks a month, however much I do. And then really making that money up, I would say pretty easily every month or if i don't make it up one month i would like you know uh times it by 10 the next month i'd make it up you know what i mean so i i i, I get it but at the same time as i've said numerous times i just it's not something that sony's gonna do and they've even like directly said that you know what i mean they're not gonna spend all the, they can't they really can't they can't spend all this money developing these first party these huge enormous games like a horizon and then just give it out to people on this uh the service it's not how they're built it's not how their model is and so that's just the way so with that and why do i say that well with that being said i think what we have here is not that bad so we have ps plus essential and that was basically just going to be monthly games so that's your that's playstation plus right and remember this is going to kind of be in uh this is going to like slide in instead of playstation plus and playstation now or at least that's the the general talk and maybe things change but that's what you would get for ps plus essential fine ps plus extra you would get monthly games plus game catalog and he says that the game catalog is a library of hundreds of older downloadable games this seems like sony ripped the download catalog out of ps now and popped it into ps plus so again ps plus extra is kind of just part of ps now plus playstation plus that's all it is again like i was I expecting anything more? Not really. Now, the biggest one, the best one, I think, by a lot, obviously, is PS Plus Premium. So the first one, Essential, was $10. Extra is $13. Premium is $16. Again, that is monthly. And Premium gives you everything else, you know, before it, but also a library of classic games. Now, I don't necessarily know what makes that different than the game catalog. I guess ca classic would be, like, very, very old, whereas, like, the game catalog is probably PS3 ps4 era and then game and then classic games is probably ps1 ps2 maybe a psp ps vita anything in that realm that they could make work i would imagine would be uh you know in that one as well as game trials and this would be like ea play where you can play so like and this is you know again i think this is as good as you can get so when a god of war comes out right can they give it away, you know, on an Xbox Game Pass like thing for free day one to everybody? No, they're not going to do that. But what it sounds like this one is, is they may say, okay, well, you can play five hours. Here's a demo. It's not really a demo, or it'd be a trial. Here's a trial. Play the game, your first five hours. If you like it, you buy the full game, and then that progress will carry over. You don't lose that time. That'll be fine. And that's, you know what I mean? And I think that's honestly phenomenal. And I think, and actually Jeff Grubb says that as well, that does make them stand out because, it's again, it's not giving away these games for, for free or for, you know, the, the Game Pass equivalent, but it's saying, hey, maybe you weren't going to be in, uh, even Forspoken, right? That's a very, Forspoken is such a polarizing game. I, I don't think too many people are going to get it, but I do think it's got its audience, including myself. But imagine Forspoken saying, hey, 
play three hours of it, play four hours of it, maybe you'll like it. Who knows how many more sales you get out of that, right? And maybe you have people that buy PS Plus Premium just to do it. So I like it. I really do like it. If, if this launched tomorrow and this is how it was, I really, you know, as long as things work, obviously you have, uh, you know, with, with the streaming stuff work, with downloads work, all that. But if it, if it came out and it was fine and, and we just got what was basically promised here, you know, I, do I think it's going to like crush? Like, you know what I mean? Like Sony comes out. And, and I guess that's kind of where I uh, am mindful, where it's like, I would prefer, I would say this, maybe, and again, maybe this is controversial. If you're going to come out, out, and it's clear this is the Game Pass, you know, fighter. You know what I mean? Like, they, they want their own version of Game Pass in a way, and so this is what that is. If you're going to do it, you know, you got to put your best foot forward, and I would say you got to do your best to absolutely crush the competition. Now, does this do things that are different than what Xbox? Yes. Does this do something that is kind of unique and uh, makes sense in Sony's model? Yes. So, again, I'm not really like criticizing them all that you know what i mean i'm not saying like oh my god this is such a failure or why didn't you do this why didn't you do that i get it because i think this is kind of the best thing you could hope for under sony's model but does it again like leave game pass in its dust and you're like oh my god i can i i now i'm gonna drop my game pass subscription and just do this no i don't you know i don't think so and that's okay I, honestly guys that's well maybe it's not okay in the sense of like netflix hulu like all the words like you have to pay you know 15 dollars for each and all of a sudden you're spending like 200 dollars a month because you have 30 streaming sites which is actually more than television was back in the so like that entire thing got completely messed up so is is it more like that yeah that's kind of what we're moving to right everybody's got their subscription you're paying more you know you're paying more than you would have normally but ultimately that is the way the world is right now like i said i think this is about as good as you could have hoped sony would come up with uh, let me know uh, what you think though in the comments below maybe there's better things that i can't even think of and maybe you guys have make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on like i said when this is announced and when this actually releases i'll be sure to uh cover it you know we'll do kind of an in-depth thing once it's out to everybody if you guys want to follow me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below if you guys want to check it out along with our patreon and youtube memberships thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video